Thank you. Well, let's have a look at the newspapers for you this morning. Personal finance expert Liz Barkley and celebrity fitness coach Kevin Adams. You were nodding through a lot of that, Liz, I noticed. I come from a farmer community, and so I know what it can be like. The weather has been absolutely shocking, and you know, he's talking about having to bring his cows in now and mm. keep them inside, which means that they've got to be fed, so whereas the feed stuff is going to come from in the wintertime, it really is tough out there. Yeah, they're, they're certainly struggling. Um, looking at the papers, though, Liz, um, you've picked out the FT. The first female leader of the, the TUC. TUC. Yes, to replace Brendan Barber when he stands down at the end of this year. So it's it's as 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 the first female prime minister in one respect, isn't well, it? Well, I think it's. I think it is fairly significant. You know, and I. I wonder if it's uh, some kind of response, perhaps, to the fact that membership with the unions is falling. Uh, you know, she, Frances O'Grady is said to be the kind of person who can get on with all sides. And so maybe a bit of the female touch here and the mm. communication skills that she will undoubtedly bring to this role. She's been the deputy uh, director general of the, uh, the uh, sorry, general secretary of the TUC for quite some time now. So she knows her stuff and she comes from union background. Her grandfather was head of the Irish trade unions and uh, her father was... British Leyland shop steward, so uh, she knows the union movement really, really well. So it'll be interesting to see what changes she brings. Mm.